All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to put the impulse spring into uh, International Harvester Company H1 Magneto. Now this H1 Magneto that I have here is off an International Harvester uh, LB engine. The spring was broken on mine and uh, I bought a new one and I went about uh, putting it in. At first, not quite sure what I was doing. So I tried to find info online and I had trouble with that. And I actually found a picture online that showed me how to wind that coupling, that wind that spring. And I did, and it didn't work. Come to find out, the picture on the internet, it's probably a very popular picture, is actually wrong. They have you winding it in the wrong direction. So I'm going to show you the right way to do it. And uh, maybe uh, save everybody a little bit of frustration that I had. First, I'll show you how to remove that impulse uh, coupling and that gear. It's 1116 socket on the impact. And mine's already loose, so it didn't take much effort. All right, you take those washers off there. I'm gonna turn it sideways so you can see. You get it above that impulse uh, prowl and you just work it up. And mine's already loose because I've already had this apart. And I like to push that spring, that impulse spring back up so it stays inside that gear. Otherwise, uh, it'll come flying out. I already get, have the new one in on this one. And I really don't want to wind it again because it, it took a little bit of time. Gotta work it around evenly. And there you have it. There's the impulse spring inside the gear. The impulse prowls. The impulse stop right there. This is the correct direction to uh, wind your impulse spring. What you do is you start by dropping it down in there. And this is what I made. I'm sure you guys can come up with something better, but this is what I had on hand, because I'm an electrician. This is a Romex connector. I took uh, the lock ring off and I made a little notch in it. It sets in just like that. The end of the impulse uh, spring sits in that notch and then I use this big screwdriver and I wind it up and I'm not going to show you winding it up because I can't hold the camera and wind at the same time all right so here is the finished product it takes a, a few tries to get that wound in there don't uh, get upset if uh, it it doesn't work the first several times. You keep trying and you're going to get it. Okay, so your next step, you're going to take that, you got to line that up with this groove right here. And this pin has to drop into this slot. So first line up that, that groove, get it in there just enough to catch it. And I'm going to try to set the camera here. I don't know if this is going to work. Nope. You're going to have to hold the impulse prowl just to get that pin passed and put you're putting a little more tension on it. And there there we have it. Here's uh, the Magneto installed on my little LB engine. I wanted to show you what it sounded like when uh, you have the right snap. 
So to turn this flywheel, listen. So your H1 magneto should be making that snapping. If it's not making that snapping sound, that's when you know you have a problem. And is that easy enough to fix? All right, folks, that's all I have for today. So until next time, trust the rust.